Hi guys. So we are in some pretty intense times right now and I'm sure many of you can feel it both uh, individually and collectively. And we can see through human design, through the gene keys, through astrology. Um, and there is, there's just a lot of pressure right now for us to evolve and spirit kind of knocking on the door and asking us what, what we're doing and, and why we're doing it and, and what our direction is. So uh, right now the sun is transiting gate 39 or Jinky 39. Um, and in the shadow frequency, this is provocation. In the gift frequency, it's dynamism. Uh, and in the Cidic uh, frequency, is, it is um, liberation. And um, the earth right now is in Gene Key 38, and this is, um, this is the warrior energy. So it's, uh, it's learning perseverance and, and finding honor through perseverance and kind of breaking out of, of purposeless uh, struggle. And this uh, Gene Key is coupled in the channel of, of struggle with Gene Key 38. It's really about, all about finding purpose and, and taking risks because it's, it's not worth living if you don't have a purpose. It's, it's like the game player that goes into, goes into life fully and lives it uh, totally in order to find what, what is, where there is purpose and what's worth fighting for. Um, the 39 is also coupled with uh, the 55 in the channel of emoting or the channel of, of romance. And here we have this kind of the spirit energy that provokes, uh, that provokes us to, to break out of victimization and, and into freedom and liberation. Um, and all these four gates that I just mentioned, the 39, the 38, the 28, and the 55, um, they are individual gates or they are in the individual circuitry. So they kind of go about their own thing and, and they're in their own process. And uh, like I said, they are finding out what's, what's worth for them, what they stand for and what they, what they want to feel and, and, and all these things. And there can be a lot of melancholy and some kind of aloneness in those gates that are doing it their own way. And also a kind of deafness from that like outside influence. So when you, when you feel somebody who is in, in the 38, 28 in their struggle, they can, can seem like they are not listening if you give them any advice. And it'll be the same thing with the 55, 39, when they are in the loop of, of feelings, uh, it's not, there's not so much we can do to influence them. It kind of needs, that emotional center has to have its own, its own, um, its own timing, you could say. So I wanted to actually show you the, the chart, both for this thing of timing, but also for showing you in the body graph where the activations are, because I feel like it's very telling right now. So, here we have the just now chart. So this is the activation right now. Uh, we can see we are in the third line uh, of uh, gate uh, 39. And like I was saying <clears throat> right now is, is that we have the 38 and the 39 in the root center. So there is this adrenal pressure. Uh, the 28 would be on this side and the 55 is on this side. So we have kind of these activations that are very much in the root, very much like in our life force, very much kind of putting pressure on us to, to act uh, in some way and, and can, can make us act too fast just to get rid of the pressure. That's the not so theme for the, for the root, root center. And we also can see that we have these powerful activations in the south and north node in the 53 and the 54. Uh, and it's also the Saturn in line three trial and error right now. So we have this adrenal pressure as well to, to rise and both the, these gates that are programming partner can be pretty immature and, and greedy. They can use like a lot of this 3D power stuff with, with money and, and, and greed to, to kind of rise and to kind of um, act on more than anything. So we can see, like I said, that there's so much power right now in this, in this root center, so much pressure. Um, and at the same time, we have this, we have had it for a while now, Pluto in the, in the head pressure, in the, with all the questions about, about why, 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 and, and actually an opening up to the great mystery and, and the inner truth, but in an open, 
health center can kind of get a bit crazy wanting to have answers or wanting to act to get out of the pressure that we feel. Uh, I also wanted to say something about the timing. So we were in Jinky 15 fluorescence a couple of weeks ago and I was speaking about this inherent biorhythm that we have that is in sync with Mother Earth, with the universe where everything is like a hold on in another hold on in another hold on. So we can see that we have an activation there right now. There is an activation that is asking us to take the, the primal energy, the life force, and circulate it up to the heart, to the truth, to love, um, and, and kind of bridging that split that sometimes is the lower chakras and the willpower and the fire and the pressure, and then the higher chakras that are more about love and sharing and, and, and that kind of energy. So we have this channel of, of, of rhythm or timing here that is helping us to, to do that um, and to become to become to make our life force more stable and and actually really going through all the all the chakras um and we have quite a lot of activations in the throat right now this is the moon it's not going to stay for long but we have the leadership theme and also the storyteller in the 56 that is also asking us to include the senses and, and come back to come back to the body in, in somehow, in some way, and not just act on the adrenal instinct, but more coming back to the breath. breath. And the breath is actually uh, a very, very important thing in, in this gene key. And it's been for a couple of weeks now, uh, with all these uh, activations we've had, where it's really coming back to, to that uh, point inside of us where everything arises from whether we call it life force or or shakti or breath or, or or whatever we call it it's like coming back to that point where there is stillness and and the art of contemplation that we've mentioned so many times the 39 is so is so powerful uh and is so provocative in the lower frequencies that, that it can make us act too fast it can make us kind of feel trapped in that pressure in the repressive uh tendency or it can make us act out in the in the more reactive so we want to when we feel we're in the shadow we kind of more want to watch it than act and then what it really is in the higher frequencies is dynamism and it's actually this provocation if you want of of creativity and passion there is so much life force like we say we have this we have this primal energy that the, the energy of spirit that, that is there to open and liberate and create freedom. Um, so when this energy opens uh, and when it's not just used in a kind of um, unconscious animalistic way, but when it's really working with spirit and for a higher purpose and for honor and those gates that we're looking at at the beginning, it has an enormous potential to shake yourself and to shake people around you uh, to open up for for uh, completely new things. Um, now we are in line three, which is um, in the Rei Vai Ching, is called responsibility. And it is this responsibility for, um, for not avoiding what, it, what is going to cause mutation, but actually going for it. And, and if you are the one to have to speak, so, so may it be, and not avoiding that. Uh, because the line three is kind of the trickster, and when it becomes uncomfortable, it kind of wants to wants to leave the room. Uh, and this is what we are learning here in, in the line three to to actually go for it, even if it's an uncomfortable. And knowing that there is so much joy, so much pe passion, so much potential, so much freshness in this gate, uh, when uh, when it can work in the higher frequencies. Um, it is coupled with the with the fifty five in uh, the theme of liberation, and the fifty five is the master gene key, and it's uh, it's kind of the whole story of the gene keys, and it's where the mutation is is happening now. It's it's telling us how the mutations are are happening now uh, on this planet, um, and it is using the dragonfly as uh, the metaphor for that. So we are in really to like this seeing where we're going as as humanity and as um, a collective uh, field 
where consciousness awareness is, is evolving to and and in the contemplation of this gene key it's also said that actually you know who is provo provoking whom it's only like when you feel the duality oh you are provoking me it's kind of that then we are in the separate self we're not just understanding that we are a field of consciousness and that things are playing out so i feel like there's also a lot of playfulness in this 39 gate that is that is there and that wants to poke in this kind of child that can't that can't really help it uh, i have my north node and my ascendant uh, in this uh, in this gate in line six uh, and it's called a troubleshooter in the Rei Bai Ching, Yi Ching. Uh, and it's really sometimes funny because I can't help myself. I, I used to think it was my incarnation cross, the cross of the Sphinx, that I just see direction, you know, it's the 31, the 7, no, it's the 13, the 7, the 2, um, and the 1, and then I also have the 31. Uh, so I always have to point out direction, all these gates, you know, in the, in the G center connected to the throat. So I just have to point out the uh, direction. I just have to kind of share a solution, um, although it's not really supposed to do to be like that because it's a projected, it's a projected element. So I should kind of wait for the invitation. And now I'm finding out much more through this transit and through work that I've done with the 55, with the Freedom Retreat. I'm finding out that a lot of this energy they kind of wants to provoke and shake somebody open to the kind of like i always say that i want sometimes i just feel i want to shake some somebody so they fall down and, and fall apart and then see what comes up through the ashes like when spirit arises again and now i actually realize that this is not so much my incarnation cross uh, probably ask my north node and ask what's you know the consciousness that's arising through me uh so it's it's been it's been for me interesting to uh, to tap more into understanding this this week and and understanding also what astrology you know there there are sometimes things that astrology can add to human design and the gene keys also with the solar eclipse in Cancer and looking at Cancer like the the astrological element as well of of the North Node and of uh, the thirty nine and understand. The, the element of water and, and the feminine side of it. Um, and also looking at the 38 and seeing that's Capricorn. There's so many things that actually, I'm a synthesizer, I'm a four six and all these six lines are, are bringing in things. Um, and, and that in itself can be very provoking. So I was posting some things this week in, in human design groups. And there actually I was, careful about using human uh gene key language because i've i've heard uh, before i've had reactions that have, that have provoked reactions so but uh, since i was speaking about the ascendant that was enough <laughs> to create some uh turmoil and people saying that doesn't have to do anything about with human design why you're asking this and this um this uh system is perfect 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 uh, so why you know, by bringing in something else, it's, it's complex anyway. So, and this reluctant, you know, th this reluctant, uh, uh, like tone, you could say, of, of not wanting to open up for, for anything more. Uh, and for me, it's, everything is always evolving. And, and I, I really feel like it's liberating to be able to synthesize and to bring things together and to see it from different lenses and and more than anything at least to ask questions although the questions are provoking i love provoking questions like i don't do enough of it i feel like um and now i do feel like it's kind of called uh for me to do that and i feel like this this is really a transit where we can ask ourselves like what is my what is my style? What is the thing that I'm maybe afraid of expressing because I I don't know what I'm going to get back. Many of us have open emotional centers, so we sometimes avoid our our truth uh, because of of that being afraid of of the reactions. So what can we what can we start provoking? What can we start poking? What can we start living for ourselves? Although it might make other people react in different ways.
So thank you guys.